Okay guys, tell me what this is. Dig it. Mm-hmm. Look at there. Hmm. It's got some markings on it. And I just happened to bring my uh, stainless steel. Not bad though. I like finding jewelry. I swept the hole again and I got another signal and uh, look what I found. The rest of the bracelet is a watch. I'll clean it up and show you later. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Sounds like two targets, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna dig. Okay, here's what it was. Junk. Hey, and I'm trying out a new uh, digging kind of outfit today. And uh, I went to Home Depot and found this uh, sort of mini bucket. You can see it's got pockets. I got my diggers in there. And then I got stuff inside. Another camera and my spread cloth and that kind of thing. I think I'm going to like it. It's lightweight. It'll hold some stuff. It wasn't very expensive, 10 or 12 bucks. But we're going to give it a run today and see how it works. A lot of trash out here at this old park. I did find two pieces of silver right here the first time I hunted it. I haven't found any silver since, and I've, been, I've hunted it a bunch of times. There's a lot of, a lot of iron and screw caps and aluminum foil and junk like that. I guarantee you, I'll guarantee you there's something else, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig it because the machine says to. Should be right on the surface. Okay, here you go. Aluminum junk. About what I figured this, about what I I've been digging more of out here. Okay, the uh, the MTX gave me a a ring signal, but it wasn't. It was one way positive, and the next the 90 degrees wasn't quite as positive. It kind of wanted a ring pull tab, but uh, it sounded good enough, and it was deep enough. It was a good four or five inches deep to dig it so I dug it and I don't know if you can see it but I just found it and it's crusty we'll take a look at it together and see if we can figure out what it is looks like a nickel but I need to clean it up I'm gonna go get some water, I'll come back. Well, this old park evidently had some more silver in it. After 10 minutes of working, I don't know if you can see it, it's a 1942 nickel. Pretty sure it's silver, but boy is it cruddy. Took me 10 minutes of brushing to even get it to the looking this good. 1942, and I just could make out the 42. But there she is. Looking good. I like it. There's another pretty good depth, about four inches. I'm gonna dig it and see. 
there you go but I'm gonna sweep the hole again and see you never know okay this one just a piece of metal VDI says plus 14, then it goes to plus 6. It's a big ring, I mean, a, a big sound. Then it says fail and ring.
Okay guys, I ain't gonna dig that. You guys write in and tell me if I should have. Or PM me or comment, leave a comment or something. But to me it's just not, it's not solid enough. Get a nickel ring. It's making a pretty good sound. Kind of strong. Just three in. Pretty big sound. But it swears it's a five cent for a ring. Now it's give me a little different tone. On this side. Okay, we gotta dig it. Well, the sun's finally gone in. Hallelujah. For the time being. Come out of there, you big old fat war nickel. You diamond ring, you. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. How do you boys record your digs? Good grief. major operation. Nothing. Come on. Okay. 